Hello, how are you guys tonight? I'm Rhonda Favano and I wanted to talk to you for a minute about what might be lurking in your bathroom. Hmm. Interesting, right? How many of these products have you used today? Toothpaste, mouthwash, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, body wash, body lotion, soap, mineral oil, makeup, powder, bubble bath, sunscreen. I could go on and on, but I bet you you've used two to five of those products at least today. The problem with that is, are you reading the labels? Do you know what's in the product that the products that you're using, what are the ingredients? Do you ever turn them over and, and read the ingredients on the back? I didn't used to either, but I certainly do today. Um, sometimes life takes a turn and we're forced to educate ourselves for our own well-being. Do you know that there are over 125 ingredients that can be found in our home in the personal care products that we use every day that are potentially dangerous or hazardous to our health just every single day 125 ingredients you guys that's a lot and that's not okay there's something called DEA and it's and it's shortened for some word that I can't even pronounce so my rule of thumb is if I can't pronounce it this girl doesn't use it I don't eat it it doesn't go on my body because the truth of the matter is if I lather something on my body I just ingested it I don't have to swallow it to ingest it. And when we ingest foreign things, chemicals, synthetics, things like that, the body doesn't know what to do with them. God did not make our bodies to ingest chemicals. Just he didn't do it. And so they go, hmm, don't know what that is. D-E-A. D-E-A. I want you to start looking for it, okay? Grab a pencil grab a pen write down these things really quick I'm just gonna give you a few things to check so that you can be safe because I want you to be healthy I don't want any of us to be sick I don't want us to be poisoning ourselves so DEA is a lathering agent and it's used in soaps detergents surfacants and it's found in over 600 yes 600 home and personal care products and more than 10,000 tons of DEA are sold in the United States alone every single year. So it's very popular. Um, there may be other words associated with it in the ingredients, but just look for DEA. If it has it, throw it in the trash or don't buy it anymore. So it's been linked to things like cancer of the liver, of the kidneys and the esophagus, and the stomach. The poten there's potential danger in fetal brain development. And a heightened risk of miscarriage so stay away from it how about propylene glycol anybody familiar with that if your label says propylene glycol throw it in the trash it's a petroleum byproduct it's a colorless viscous liquid that's used in antifreeze you guys hydraulic fluids paints de-icing solutions floor wax and laundry detergent um, it, it helps to retain moisture. This is not a joke. Propylene glycol is in cake mixes and other things like that, you guys. So stay away from it. It is associated, some of the health risks are contact dermatitis, kidney damage, and liver damage. It inhibits proper cellular growth, so all kinds of skin Issues, rashes, dry skin, things like that. Um, if it's inhaled, it can be dangerous to the respiratory system. It's dangerous to our eyes. It's an irritant to the gastrointestinal system. Um, it can cause headaches, nausea, vomiting, on and on and on. And so just stay away from it. Propylene glycol, all right? The next one that I want you to write down so that you can go check your products is sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium laureth sulfate. A lot of the times it'll be abbreviated SLS or SLES. So 
it is actually a class of, of detergents and it's used as an emulsifier. So it's used in very harsh detergents because of the way it breaks down um, the surface tension of water. That doesn't sound like something we want in or on our bodies, does it? So it's used in industrial settings on like to clean concrete floors, um, to degrease engines, as a car wash detergent, things like that. So guess what, guys? It's a foaming agent, and it's found in things like shampoo, soaps, even children's shampoo. Mm, I don't think so. Bath bubbles, anything that really suds, most likely has got sodium lauryl sulfate in it. So write it down and stay away from it. How about mineral oil? Yeah, it's a petroleum byproduct too. Um, and it's been used for many, 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 many years as a sealing and building um, agent, material, used with building materials. Um, it's used for engine oil, pesticides. It's put in facial creams and hair products. Hmm, what a combination, right guys? We don't want that. So stay away from petroleum-based products. A lot of us grew up using Vaseline. That's a petroleum-based product. We grew up using Vicks. That's a petroleum-based product. Don't do it. So it will say on the label, mineral oil or white petrolatum. Don't do it. So it's got a huge risk for allergies, um, immunotoxicity. It disrupts our skin's ability to breathe, so it's clogging pores. And even beyond that, it, it reduces blood flow and inhibits the release of toxins from the body. It affects the lungs and it can cause like chemical pneumonia and things like that. So we don't want it. It causes eczema. It causes all kinds of skin rashes and it inhibits um, the body from absorbing nutrients and it causes a lot of inflammation in the body. So just don't do it. It also... Um, causes premature aging because of the effect that it has on the cells in our body. Stay away from it. How about this one, talc? Talc. So we all know that it's a very fine powdery substance, right? And it can make the skin feel kind of um, slippery and smooth. So it's used in a lot of different things, but it's dangerous for us as well. It's known to cause cancer. Mm, no, we don't want that. Um, we don't want to inhale that for sure. It's, um, it's used as a lubricant, a drying lubricant. So it's used in a lot of cosmetics and that kind of thing. Um, baby powder. Mm. Don't want that. So it's just going to say talc. So if it says talc, stay away from it. So one study showed that women who had used talc powder in the genital area had a 60%, 6-0% increased risk of ovarian cancer. Mm, that's not okay, guys. That is not okay. So it's used in a lot of feminine products. Mm -mm, stay away from it. Stay away from it. But it's an irritant to the body in general and causes a lot of allergies and, um, again, immunotoxicity. Immuno Can't spit that out. Stay away from it. Something else, um, B- P, A, B as in boy, and phthalates. Stay away from those things. They um, are an ingredient in a lot of different plastics, in water bottles, even in children's toys. So um, canned goods, stuff like that. It's not okay. Um, phthalates are very dangerous to our system and are related to cancers and things like that. Um, reproductive, a lot of reproductive issues by people using phthalates. So leave them alone, you guys. And that's male and female. It is not just women. And how about aluminum chloride? So just write down aluminum, but aluminum chloride. Now, aluminum chloride is a chemical compound and it's used in manufacturing of aluminum metal. Hmm. So it's found in a lot of deodorants, and the reason that they use it in deodorant is to, it's used to control sweating. Now, the, we all know sweating is actually good for us. No, we don't like to be stinky, and there are things that we can use so that we're not, 
but sweating is good. It's a way the body releases toxins, so it's cleansing to the body. So if you're using a deodorant or anything like that that's got aluminum in it, throw it in the trash. And think about where you're putting that, in the pits. There are lymph nodes there. And ladies, especially for you, those lymph nodes are very near the breast. Breast cancer is so prevalent these days. So just stay away from that kind of thing. So what I want you to do is I want you to get into your bathroom, especially where these products are found, and see if you've got DEA in anything propylene glycol, SL, SLS or SLES, talc, or aluminum. Now the products that primarily you're going to look for are toothpaste, deodorant, shampoos, soaps, lotions, um, any kind of baby products, and cosmetics. So this is my little tidbit to help you and I be healthier so we can live long, healthy lives. Quality is important, you guys, and I'm telling you this because I love you. So go check the bathroom and throw the stuff away.